Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Gaming On Board. This is a segment we call Mechanically Speaking, where we take a look at a specific board game mechanic, and then I'll show you three examples of that mechanic in some popular games and how it differs a little bit from game to game. So this week we're going to talk about set collection. Um, set collection is seen as part or all of a game all over the place. So uh, let's take a look at a few examples of set collection and how it works and how it can be incorporated into a game as just a part of the game and not the entire game. So the first game we're going to look at is Ticket to Ride. Um, then we're going to take a look at Unearth. And finally, we're going to look at Forbidden Island. So let's go ahead and go down to the table and I'll show you real quick uh, how set collection works in Ticket to Ride. Okay, so the set collection in Ticket to Ride is really simple. Um, each player is going to start with a certain number of cards in their hand. And then every turn they have a choice. They can either draw two cards, get a ticket, or turn in a set of cards to put trains out. And you just look at the color of the track on the uh, board that you want to put out and make sure you have that set. So I look at my hand. I have three yellows and this is a locomotive which is wild. So it can be any color. So over the course of the game I've collected what I need here. I'll play this set of yellow cards and then I'll take whatever color train I am and place them on this yellow track here. So that's a very basic set collection. Then on my next turn, I could draw these two oranges, or I could draw this orange, replace this, then draw this orange, replace this, or I could take two cards from the top. So throughout the entire game, you're just trying to collect sets of these different color cards in your hand so that you can play them and then place your trains out there. And then based on the number of trains you put out, which is also the number of cards, you know, the, the number of set of cards you've collected, you get points based on that. And this is a very popular gateway game. It's very easy to learn. It's a lot of fun, and it still has a lot of strategy involved. So there's a basic example of set collection. All right, so this is Unearth, and the set collection in Art Unearth is a little more complex than Ticket to Ride. You don't just draw cards, play cards, and get points. You actually have a pool of dice. You'll choose a location and a dice or a die, then you'll roll it. And then you'll place that die on that location. If it's a three or under, you get to take one of these little tokens. And you can use these to create these little circular hex-shaped wonders. So that's one part of the set collection. Because um, you get to claim these little bonus point things once you complete a full circle. And they can be in different combinations of colors. Um, so that's one. Two is... Whenever the total number of dice on the card equals the number here, so we got 11, whoever placed, uh, whoever has the highest numbered die on that card gets to take that card. And you start the game with a card already in your hand. So I have one of these already in my hand. That's a secret. Nobody knows what color someone else has. So once the uh, total dice reach this total number, whoever has the highest die on there, uh, takes this card and all the dice are returned to their owners and any of these cubes that are still on here go back to the bag and then you take this then at the end of the game you'll look at uh, what sets you have of course here I don't have any but here it shows you the scoring so you get two points for every single color six points for every pair 12 for three of a kind 20 for four of a kind and 30 points if you have five of the same color Plus you get five bonus points if you have, for each set of uh, all five colors you have in your hand. Plus any points from your set collection of wonders down here. So there's a few different ways to uh, get points from collecting sets. And of course, there's tons of different ways to manipulate the dice uh, before and after they've been rolled. So here's a uh, example of a more complex, more strategic, in my opinion, set collecting game uh, with dice rolling. It's very fun. All right, and finally, we have Forbidden Island. This is one of my favorite games. Um, it's got 
I don't know if you've ever played Pandemic, but it's real popular. Uh, it's got that kind of clock built into the card draws. And it's also set collection uh, very similar to Pandemic uh, to try to cure the diseases. Um, so in this game, you're going to have a bunch of locations set up in this pattern with these four relics in the corners here. And your goal is every turn you're going to be drawing two cards. And the cards you draw could actually hurt you because the, the whole theme is it's an island and it's sinking. So as you draw cards, it, it causes different areas. Um, uh, there's Waters Rise cards, which causes more areas to sink every turn. These cards will come up and sink these locations. But anyways, uh, you'll be drawing two cards every turn. And your goal is to get to one of these locations with these relic symbols on there. And be able to discard four of the relic in the picture. So you're trying to get to that location with all four. Play those cards and then you've uh, basically picked up that relic. Then you all have to get back to this helicopter, Fool's Landing, and play a helicopter card. There's a helicopter in here somewhere. And that's the only way you win the game is by getting all four relics, which requires you to collect sets of four of the cards of that relic. Then go to that card's location and play those four cards to pick it up. And, you know, you can exchange things if you're on the same spot. Each of these, uh, each of the players has a different special ability. But... This just gives you an example of where set collection is only part of the game. Um, I know it is the main mechanic to win the game for you, but you're, is, this is also an action point allowance system game that we talked about last week because each player will have three actions. So your actions are you know, moving around and sharing stuff and, and making sure that different parts of the island don't completely sink. Then you draw a couple cards and uh, you know, share them with your friends. Try to get sets in your hand, get back, claim the relics, and get out. So there's a example of where set collection isn't the main focus of the game, but just as much as important as the action point allowance system. Almost identical to what you see in Pandemic. So there you go. We took a look at three examples of how the set collection mechanic is used in popular games today. I hope you enjoyed this content. Be sure to tell me what your favorite set collection game is down in the comments. Also, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We do post there daily. Please, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button and share this video so other people might be able to see a game that they didn't know existed that might get them into the hobby just like we are. Um, so as always, thank you for watching and play all the games.